Hello guys, this is Henry the Science Guy, and today I will show you how to use ORCUT to calculate density functional theory, DFT calculations. First, you need to go to ORCA forum uh, by searching ORCA forum in Google or Bing, and then you go to ORCA 504, which, which is the newest version, and you have to take all parts 1, 2, 3. Uh, there are Linux, Mac OS, and Windows based on your computer. After you download all these parts, you unzip them and you have to put them in one folder, which I named it Orca. This is important. If you don't put all three files in one folder, the calculation will not work. After you made an Orca folder, and you put all three files, the names doesn't matter, but anyways, you go to environmental variables. Here, edit the system environment variables. Click on it, and then here, it, there is uh, environment variables, click on it, and then on the system variables box, which is uh, below, double click pad, and click new and then add c colon backslash and orca this orca is just from the file name here uh orca which i put put in all three files that i downloaded from the orca forum this orca and this orca needs to be the same in they need to match anyways after putting it please, please click ok you can remove this and then you need to put an input file for your molecules or reactions to put that into command prompt which I will show you later so uh, I will show you the example input file uh, for DFT calculation here here, uh, this is just the reaction name, uh, transition state of a reaction with uh, NO2 substituent. You can ignore this. Just put, uh, if you want to calculate the energy of CO2, just put CO2, just ignore it. And here, uh, the first three lines need to be the same. Uh, sharp test a simple DFT calculation. And this here on the second line, this is just the basis set. Or DFT calculation and here this part is a uh, just a solvent which solvent would you want to use for the reaction or molecule or here um, there is acetone so this this input file leads to an energy calculation uh, for a reaction occurring in acetone solvent if you don't want any solvent, you can just erase this. Or if you want water solvent, you can just erase acetone and just put water. And yes, this is also required. So you need to copy the third line. And from here, this is just XYZ file. An XYZ file just gives you the coordinate of which atoms are located. Uh, in a molecule or a reaction, just uh, something like the bond length and the bond angles. So, sorry. sorry. And after you put XYZ files here, you need to put uh, one asterisk at the bottom, and then you need to click File, Save as uh, uh, your molecule reaction name and dot .int which is uh, input. One important thing that you need to remember is that you need to fix the file type, all files, because if you just use txt, which is a default option, the file will be saved as .input.txt, which is not an input file. All files save, ignore this, uh, and then it is saved. Then you can go to command prompt. You can search command prompt here. Command prompt. Or you can just 
click on it and then here uh, on the command prompt you first click uh, enter cd orca test by the way this orca test file is just uh, going from here the file that i made to put uh, all the input files and the calculation results file so just work a test and then click on it enter and then you click orca this orca is coming from here orca file that you downloaded from orca form and then click space and then you click enter uh, the file name the input file name which is in my case it's, it's this is ts no2 no2 put end click enter and this will give you the calculation results for uh, your reaction or molecule and I saw it. the calculation usually takes about 6 to 10 minutes so which is very fast for DFT calculation After 10 minutes, uh, the all properties and including energies will show up. But since you don't want to wait, I will just show you the completed version. Same molecule, same reaction, just the completed version. Here, uh, the energy is uh, slightly above from the bottom. And over orca property calculations here is the energy i have uh, proofread uh, all the energies so this is the correct energy actually calculated in 10 minutes with dft so uh, this is the energy and there are some different properties dipole moment uh, rotational spectrum etc but uh, yeah so in the orca test folder which I made, uh, there are all the results files, and if you want to relook at your properties, then you just click on TSNO2 property text property text, and that will give you all the properties that you need. Thank you.